Let's write the balanced net ionic equation for Na3PO4 plus HCl. This is sodium phosphate and this is hydrochloric acid. The first thing we need to do with net ionic equations, we need to balance the molecular equation. So this up here is the molecular equation. There are three sodium atoms here and just one here. Let's put a three in front of the sodium chloride. Balances the sodiums, now we have three chlorine atoms. If we put a three here, that's good. We've got the three chlorines, three hydrogens, three hydrogens, and then we have a phosphate ion here and here. This is the balanced molecular equation. Now we can write the state for each substance. That looks like this. Compounds with the sodium ion, they're going to be very soluble. So they'll be aqueous. Hydrochloric acid, that's a strong acid. It's aqueous. So all of those are going to dissociate into their ions. This phosphoric acid here, it is aqueous. It'll dissolve, but it's a weak acid. That means it's a weak electrolyte. So we won't split this apart in our net ionic equation. So let's split the strong electrolytes apart into their ions. That's going to give us the complete ionic equation but we do not split the weak electrolytes, in this case a weak acid, apart. That looks like this. So this is the complete ionic equation. Note we did not split the H3PO4 apart, it's a weak acid. Now we can cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides of that complete ionic equation. So the top, that's the reactants, bottom products. In the reactants, there are three sodium ions. We also have those in the products, spectator ions. Get rid of those. Three chloride ions in the reactants and in the products, those are spectator ions. What's left, that's the net ionic equation for Na3PO4 plus HCl. I'll clean this up, write the states, we'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for sodium phosphate and hydrochloric acid. You'll note that charge is balanced, three times one plus, that's three plus, then we have our three minus. So that all gives us a net charge of zero. This is a neutral compound, net charge of zero. If you count the atoms up, they're balanced too. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for Na3PO4 plus HCl. Thanks for watching.